Hello Grade 3, how are you? Today we're going to look at Unit 7. We're going to look at our six new words. Our six new words are subjects, the subjects that we learn at school. Uh, there is no homework today. There is no student book. Now we are looking at pictures in the student book. You can look at the student book if you like, but you don't have to. I've put all the pictures for you in this video. Oh, aren't I nice? So today we will look at the names of the subjects and we will see what we do in those subjects. OK, and that's it, really. Um, yeah, that's everything. Shall we start? Let's go. OK, this is the page with the six new words. If you want to look at it, page number 72 in your student book. It is the first page of unit number seven. Unit number seven is called At School. T Rong Rien. So we're going to look at these six words. Here they are. Bow. And then we are going to talk about what we do in the subjects. So are you ready? Yeah. OK, let's go. Let's take a look at our six new subject words. These subjects are subjects in school lessons. They are the things that you learn in school. So number one, what's this? Art. Number two, math. Now in America, people say math. Con America put math. In England, we say maths with an S. Con Ancrit put maths. Now you can say whatever you want, put a like or die. It's up to you, okay? I understand math and I understand maths. You can say whatever you want. Number three, science. Now listen to this, please. Science. Oxian, sci, and Michai, cyan. Okay, there is a s on the end of this word. Sci, and s, sci, and s. Okay, try to say it like that. You must practice, but try. Number four. Music. <laughs> Number five, social studies. Social means how people live together. Social. How do people live together? Now, what is this subject looking at? What are we studying in social studies? It's people. People. Everyone in the world. How are we the same? How are we different? What do we do in Thailand? What do we do in England? What do people do in America that people do not do in Germany? This is social studies. We are looking at how people are the same and how people are different all around the world. Number six, PE. Now, I know you know the word P.E., but do you know what P.E. stands for? The P stands for physical. Physical. It's a P.H. word. Remember, P and H makes F. Physical. Physical means moving and using your body. Physical can mean to do anything where you move your body. And then E means education. Education. Boalai. Rien. Or suksa education okay physical education so let's put those two words together it means learning about how to use your body now in pe we learn to use the body for sport and fitness that's right fitness to get healthy okay great that's all six these are your six subject words for unit number seven. OK, now I want to look at the six subject words 
But now let's see, what, what do we do in these subjects? There are many different parts to each subject. Some you will know and some you will not know. But it's kind of fun and interesting to see what maybe you can do in each subject. Now, in Bratom, you might not do some of these, but when you get to Matayom, I am sure that you will be able to do most of them, maybe all of them. So let's learn the words. So what do people do in art class? Painting. Yes, painting. Everyone likes painting. I like painting. I'm not very good. Painting. So when we think of art class, we think of students painting. What else do we do in art? Drawing. Right. With a pencil. Drawing. Another word for drawing is sketching. Sketching. So drawing. Often we draw the picture and then we paint the picture, don't we? So we use a pencil, draw the picture, and when we're finished, we paint over the top with, with coloured paint. Pottery. Pottery is the art of making things from clay. You throw the clay onto the wheel. The wheel goes round and round, and then you use your hands to make things. You can make cups, pots, vases, uh, you can make anything out of clay. It is not easy. <laughs> it's very difficult. So you must practice. Sculpture. Sculpture is where we take clay and using some tools. See that the person has the tools in their hand. They sculpt. That's the action to sculpt. They sculpt something from the clay. This is a bust. A bust is a head of someone, but it can be anything. It can be animals. It can be cars. It can be um, clouds. It, it's, it can be anything you can think of if you can make it out of clay. This is called sculpture. It's not easy. You need to practice. Metalwork. OK, metalwork is something that you will not do now. You will learn it maybe when you are older. Metal work is using metal and making it very hot and sticking it together to make shapes. This shape is a lady with a big flower. Metal work is amazing, but you have to learn how to use some very dangerous tools to do it. So um, you will have to go to a special school to learn how to do it. But this is art. Isn't it beautiful? It's art. And the last one, CGI. I'm sure lots of you know about CGI, computer graphics. You can draw with a computer. You can make the pictures move. This is art. Look at that beautiful picture. She's doing a turtle with a mountain on its back. This is a fantasy picture, wizards and dragons. So maybe she's making it for a computer game, maybe a cartoon. Maybe she just likes to do this for fun. CGI art. OK, that's art. Next one, math. Now, the words in math are very long, but you will know how to do some of these things in math. I know you do. OK, so let's just look at these things using the English words. Addition to add, A-D-D, -D, add, addition to put things together and find out how many there are. So we have six apples, four bananas. If we add them together, we get 10. 10 is the total. 10 is the answer. Addition. Subtraction. Sub. What is sub? Lob. Pasatai, lob. To take away, take numbers away from other numbers. So the apples, there are five apples. We know that if we take away three, then we have the answer of two. This is subtraction. The same with the bananas. We know there are four bananas. If we subtract three, lob sam, then we know we get one. Oh, no, sorry. There are only three bananas. If we subtract four, lob c, we get minus one, lob nun, subtraction. 
division. Now, I am very bad at math, and this is the one I was very bad at at school. Division is where we see how many things there are inside a bigger number. So here we have the big number, 14.8. Sipsi, jut bad. And then we divide it by four. So how many times does four go into 14.8? And the answer is 3.7. This is division. Here's algebra. Don't don't even ask me what's going on here. I don't know. But algebra uses letters instead of numbers to work out the answer. I don't know if you do this now, but I am sure you will learn how to do this in your math class. Here's trigonometry, looking at shapes, their sizes, their spaces, their angles. This is trigonometry. And multiplication. In English, we also say times. The X means times, not well, are, OK? It means how many do we get if we times it by another number? So two multiplied by three equals six. Or we can say two times three is six. So in math, this is called multiplication. Science. Now, there are many, many, many different parts of science, but in school, you will learn three. Biology. Bio. What does bio mean? Bio means things that are alive. Plants, animals, and yeah, me and you, people. So in your biology subject class, you will learn about living things, how they work, what they do. This is biology. Chemistry. Chemistry is looking at elements and how they work with each other. Here we have the periodic table. This is all the elements that we know of in the world. Chemistry. And physics. The science of physics is looking at and studying why things move, why things don't move, how things push against other things, why things go fast, why things go slow. It looks at gravity. Gravity is the force that keeps us on the ground. It makes things fall down. So this is physics. These are the three basic parts of science you will look at when you are at school. Music. What do we learn in music class? We learn to play instruments. Now, not everyone likes to play an instrument, but if you do, you will probably have lessons with your music teacher on how to play your instruments better. Better, what is better? Dikun, digua. Yes, so you will learn how to play musical instruments in your music class. I see lots of students at Patai Udom Suksa playing the guitar and the bass guitar at lunchtime. Singing. So in music, you will learn how to sing songs. And for some people, you will learn how to read music. If you want to be a good singer or you want to play an instrument like the piano or the violin or the guitar, if you want to do this for a job, if you want to play the guitar for a job, you will have to learn to read music. So you learn this in your music class. OK, do you remember what I said about social studies? Social means how people behave with each other, how people talk to each other, how they like each other, how they don't like each other, how they are the same, how they are different. Social studies. So you will learn about people. Is Thailand here? I can see one that looks like Thailand in pink with a yellow chadar. Can you see? Where's England? Yeah, at the top, the soldier. OK, so in social studies, you will learn about how people are the same, how they are different, where they live. You will learn about language, how people say things differently, why they say things differently. Are some languages the same? What languages are the same but different? 
อภาษาไทยแอนด์ภาษาลาวลาวแอนด์ไทย are almost the same but they are not the same why ทำไม well in social studies you will talk about that that would be one thing why is ภาษาลาวแอนด์ภาษาไทย why are they kind of the same but kind of different that's a question you would ask in social studies and we learn about culture how different people live what they wear what they believe why is it not the same as you why is what i think not the same as what you think why is some things that me and you think are the same are not the same in japan these are cultural questions and you will learn this in social studies pe pe so physical education so pe is about moving your body and learning why and how your body does things there are lots and lots and lots of things you do in pe i have not put all of them there are too many but i have put some so in pe you will learn running now running is not just learning running it's how your arms and legs move it's learning how to breathe it's learning how to use oxygen running jumping jumping is learning how to use muscles how to breathe swimming swimming is a good one swimming is not only good for your body and your heart but it is also excellent for your safety if you know how to swim and one day you are in trouble in water well then you can swim people who cannot swim are going to have a big problem my daddy cannot swim my dad my father he can't swim so when he goes on holiday he can't go in the sea he can't go in the swimming pool he can't do many fun things that other people can do because he didn't learn to swim it's a secret climbing climbing uses your muscles in your arms and your legs it helps you learn how your hands and your eyes work together climbing exercise right exercise keeps you fit makes your heart strong ball games all different ball games you learn to play with your hands and your feet your hands and your feet learn to work with your eyes they learn to work with your eyes your hands and your feet and running so you learn how to use your body in all different ways what can we see here okay we have a football a tennis ball a basketball a golf ball a baseball a volleyball and a rugby ball this is a rugby ball rugby not american football rugby racket games now rackets are these things you can see here you might think in english we call them a bat but they are not a bat they are rackets they have string there are many many racket ball games i don't know all of them here i can see definitely table tennis ping pong squash badminton tennis real tennis stop ball the brown and yellow one i think is stop ball stop ball is a fun game and the blue one i don't know the blue one does anyone know the blue one you tell me i don't know okay last one gymnastics gymnastics yes learning how to bend the body learning how to do all these other things gymnastics you are learning how to run and jump how to bend how to use your muscles how to balance gymnastics is about balance trying not to fall over okay so here we are learning about gymnastics all of these things make up pe okay right so today we looked at the hey we looked at the six new words the six new words are subjects we looked at all six and then we looked at what we do in those subjects what different activities we do now there is no homework today you didn't have to look at the workbook it's quite an easy lesson but practice the six 
words because you will need them for your next big quiz. OK, what will the big quiz be? The big quiz will be unit seven and unit eight. OK, just something to think about. Not now, but. Don't forget, OK, I will see you in the next lesson. Have a very nice day. See you next class. OK, bye.